Hey guys, Silver here and today I'm gonna show you how to turn this overall bad photo into this amazing look using Adobe Lightroom. Let's jump into it. So, we're in Adobe Lightroom and I took this photo of the Falcon uh, right outside my house. I was preparing to do some street photography uh, a couple of days ago and when I got out, uh, what a surprise, there was a Falcon uh, just standing in a power cable uh, and I, I thought, oh man, this is beautiful, but I didn't have the proper lens to take the photo, so I took this with a 55-200, uh, it's just a kit lens on some of the Sony cameras and you can see here this guy is not proper exposed and it's also not in focus so we're gonna try to save this photo just using Lightroom let's begin so here in the basic adjustments I think I don't like very much the temperature so I'm gonna bring it more to the blues because I would like to bring more the blue color of the sky and I don't mind taking away some of the orange of this falcon so I'm gonna bring it to around there I'm gonna lift the tint as it is exposure I'm gonna lift it up a little bit just a little bit and that's okay uh, contrast I'm gonna bring down the contrast you might think this is not right but uh, let me show you just up to minus 15 I think it's okay uh, minus 16 it's okay highlights I'm gonna bring down the highlights to minus 2 it's okay shadows <clears throat> I'm gonna lift the shadows to around here okay white ah I think I'm yeah I need to bring up the whites to 34 <laughs> blacks I'm gonna bring down the blacks to around minus 23 and on the clarity we're gonna bring way up the clarity to around 80 yeah 881 that's that's really cool we're not gonna touch the the haze tool uh, vibrance yeah I want more vibrance a lot more yeah so 71 it's okay also the saturation I'm gonna bring up the saturation to minus to plus 8 sorry okay I think I'm happy with that for now let's go to the tone curve and here in the tone curve we're gonna make an S nice S shape tone curve. Yeah, that's that's okay. So here in the shadows, we're gonna bring down the shadows a little bit. Yeah, around, around there is okay. And the mid tones right here. Okay, that is really good. I'm not gonna touch that anymore. So we're gonna jump to HSL color. Uh, starting with yellow. I'm not gonna touch the reds and oranges just in this photograph. Normally I would, but I don't want that now. And the yellow. We're gonna bring up the luminance of the yellow to 40. 43, it's okay green I'm not gonna touch that either <clears throat> the aqua luminance I want to bring down the luminance in the aqua 
to around minus 80. Yeah, minus 80, that's okay. And the blues, we're gonna pop this sky. And we can play with the saturation, bring it up a little bit, and bring down the luminance a little bit as well. Yeah, that's that's okay. We don't want to do too much. Uh, purple, and I'm not gonna do that. Also, but the magenta, yep, I would like to bring down the, the magenta around minus 20, 23. It's okay. That's cool. So, uh, if you want to, you want to see what has changed. I'm gonna turn off these sliders, tone curve. So up until here, we just had uh, some basic adjustments done, but with the tone curve, we made this. So here's the before and after. Again, before and after. This is just the tone curve. And in the HSL, we played a, a little bit more with the colors. Here's the before and here's the after. Again, before and after. And with the split toning, I'm gonna bring the hue to around here. Yeah, I want this this hue and the saturation uh, of course you can bring all the way to 100 your saturation which looks horrible but I, I don't know depends it depends on what you're looking for I guess uh, I'm gonna keep my saturation in the highlights around 26 it's okay for me and the shadows I want the shadows be a little orange so I'm gonna stay around 42 oh, 42 that's okay and the saturation of this is gonna be lower just around 15 just if if I go up to 100 all the shadows are gonna become become orange uh, like I don't want that I just went a little bit so that that is okay 15 is okay for me so here's the before and after that this is the power of a split toning before and after cool so we're gonna do some lens correction uh, my profile corrections is enabled it, as you see here I took this photo with a 55 to 100 millimeters f4 lens, a Sony 4 lens. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just leave it, leave it enabled. I'm gonna remove chromatic aberration. That's important. Yeah. E, uh, gonna go to the details tab, and in the details tab, I'm just. I'm gonna bring up the color noise reduction almost to 100. Luminance, oh, you see this photo is not very well taken, so I'm gonna I'm gonna need some noise reduction. Normally I wouldn't I wouldn't use that because it's really bad, but well, I don't know. I'm gonna use it. This reduction, I'm gonna bring it up to 60% maybe. Just for this photo. Normally I wouldn't even touch that. But no, yeah. And then the sharpening, since we we have so much noise reduction, we, we are gonna need some sharpening. So I'm gonna bring the amount to 85. Around 85. And the masking, if you click Alt or Option in Mac, 
when you click this masking you're gonna see this and you can bring it up until you you're just focusing on the things you want to focus so I'm gonna bring it up to 46 that's okay for me and we're done here I'm not gonna transform this in any way because I, I think uh, this power cable is really straight, horizontal straight and I, I, I like the way it's supporting the Falcon in this photo and I'm, I'm not gonna go, to go here I'm gonna go direct to effects I'm gonna add a little bit of, of vignetting just a tiny bit so you so our eyes can focus more on the falcon yep so you see before and after vignetting before and after that just really depends on on your style I guess and here uh, on camera calibration I'm gonna play a little bit more with the blues so I think I, I want more saturation in the blues but just don't don't exaggerate with this oh that's really cool let's see here's the before and after again before and after and I think I'm done here I really like how this photo turned out and that's it guys this is how you can take a really really bad exposed photo and out of focus and everything and make it really pop 